Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. In this video, let's create a solution to automatically detect errors. This solution can be used for any other dataset, with any other formats or different column names. All right, here I have three sample tables. Each of these are having different column names. I am going to create a dynamic error detection feature, which will not only work for these files, but for any other data, where you want to quickly detect errors automatically. So, to create my master function, I am using sample1 as a reference. This query, I can name as error. Now, select the entire table, and from the keep rows option, select keep errors. Next step is to add a custom column. This column can be named as all items. For expression, just enter underscore and click OK. This column will hold entire records of the rows. Next, I will add one more custom column. Here, the expression is record dot to table. And then, I will use the newly added all items column as its argument. Click on OK. This column will have each row as a table. Now I need only this column, so I will remove all other columns from this query. Expand this column for the column names and values for each table. Next, I will add the last custom column. Since I have only one column, I can use try and the column name to detect errors from it. Expand this column and select error. Click on OK. Expand this column to see all the information about the errors in each row. You can remove the null values from it. This way, we have created a manual step to detect errors from the data. Now is the time to make this entire steps dynamic. So I will right click on the query name and select create function. Click create. This function name I can keep as error detect and click OK. This will create dynamic function. But this function cannot be invoked for other queries because it is using the column names from sample one data. To make it dynamic, I will remove these columns and instead of these, I will use table.column names for sample one. In this blank name, I will write input as table parameter. Source, I will replace with input parameter and column names also should dynamically detect from the given input table. And that's it. We are ready with a function which can detect error from any table. Let's test it for our three sample tables. From the input dropdown, I can select any table. For example, I am selecting sample one, and I will immediately get a dataset which has only error rows from the table. If you want, you can rename this query with an appropriate name and keep it for further use. With our dynamic function, I can select any other table, like sample two and invoke the function. This table which has different columns, but still it detects the errors from it. Similarly, I can use sample three, which is again having different column names, but our function will detect rows with error. This table has only one error row. If you have a table which does not has any error, it will return blank. As said, this function can be used for tables with different column names, and it will be very useful for your Power BI solutions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.